with meteorologist Savannah Brito. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. Temperatures very, very chilly out there this morning. We're 20 to even close to 25 degrees colder than this time yesterday, and tomorrow morning is going to be even worse, so make sure you bundle up over the next 48 hours. 16 degrees is where we sit right now in Terre Haute, 11 in Crawfordsville, 17 in Robinson, 15 in Mattoon, and 18 in Washington, so no one is even reaching 20 degrees right now. We're probably not even going to reach that for daytime highs today. Four degrees with the wind chill factored in is what it feels like outside in Terre Haute, 11 in Crawfordsville, negative three though in Champaign, and negative one in Danville. So the wind chill's pretty bad right now, but waking up tomorrow morning, most of us actually are going to feel like it's below zero out there. So the actual air temperature will be probably around five degrees below zero in some places, probably to the northwest areas. But with the wind chill factored in, it is going to feel close to negative 15 at the least amount tomorrow morning. So make sure you're bundled up, leave yourself a, a little bit of extra time to allow your cars to warm up. 10 miles per hour, the winds right now in Terre Haute, 9 in Greencastle. They're calm in Crawfordsville, 15 in Champaign, and 10 in Paris. So winds actually have calmed down since where we were sitting yesterday morning. Gusts are checking into almost every single place, though. Talking about snow, we do have a winter weather advisory, not for anywhere across the Wabash Valley, but just south of Knox County in this purple color. And then there's also a winter storm warning in that pink color. The blue color northwest of the Champaign and Danville area, that's actually a wind chill advisory. Wind chills close to 20 below zero can be expected. Most of the heavier snow is going to fall in this pink color. A little bit is expected in this purple color. So most of the snow is actually going to fall just south of the Wabash Valley. And that's where some of it's starting to move in right now. Some of our local counties could pick up a little bit, but I'm thinking most of the heavy snow chances are going to fall well south of the Wabash Valley. If you are driving about two to three hours south of the valley of Terre Haute and Vigo County, you are going to want to allow a little extra travel time. And it might be slick out there once we get through the afternoon and evening hours if we do see a little bit of flurry, so be careful out there. But we're not really going to pick up that much totals over the next 48 hours. Like I said, maybe about half an inch in some places, up to about an inch. But the better chances in that dark blue color and that medium blue color just southeast of the Wabash Valley. The next chance for some precipitation is actually going to come mainly as rain. That'll be a rain event for the most part for us. Once we get into Saturday evening, it will linger into parts of Sunday. So if you're going to travel or head outside on Saturday late, once we get to the evening hours or Sunday morning, travel with an umbrella, make sure you have a raincoat. It also looks to warm up a little bit pretty much just for those two days, but we are definitely going to be a lot warmer out of the next couple of days than what we were once we headed into the day yesterday and today, especially tomorrow. 19 is only going to be the high today, mostly cloudy, cold, but it is going to be pretty frigid out there. Four degrees, that's the air temperature, so it is going to feel below zero all across the Wabash Valley tomorrow morning. 20 then will rise tomorrow. At least we have a little bit of sunshine on tap for us, and then close to 40, making it up to 40 by Sunday. 